So this morning I've uh, done a central motion against uh, President William Ruto. Uh, the main thrust of that motion first is based on the constitution and constitutional breaches which has been conducted in this country. Uh, mostly is, uh, uh, is a requirement and uh, our standing orders, uh, orders 101 subsection 1 uh, whereby if you want to discuss the conduct of the president or uh, deputy president or, or a judge or any state officer, then you've got to approach the Senate uh, through that standing order and then go on to cite the constitutional provisions. Uh, the main thrust of my petition and censor motion is that uh, there has been abductions and killings in the country. The president is the chairperson of security committee in the country and therefore must know and is briefed on every single security detail of the country. Uh, up to now, there are still missing Kenyans following demonstrations. Uh, quite a number were killed by police and others brutalized, are still recovering in hospitals. And there are quite a number of bodies uncollected at the city morgue and many other mortuaries in the country uh, for people who were killed uh, by police during the demonstration. That has not been accounted for, and that responsibility is squarely on the president. There are also allegations of lack of public persuasion in the country. Uh, whereby laws just floor the house, go, come to the house and flow out of it, go for a signature state house without public participation. And mainly of it is a uh, shift, they are done deal, uh, share, all that there will be no proper public consultation, proper public participation, and therefore it should be discussed because it is affecting Kenyans in a very big way, it is changing the lives of Kenyans, and there is a need uh, for Senate to discuss that particular matter and show its displeasure about it so that those laws can be rectified while the same are um, aware are also the court applications to deal with the same. No, not necessarily. Impeachment of uh, the president or impeachment of the president under the constitution has to be originated uh, from National Assembly. I am aware also that uh, the attempt to impeach the deputy president has created a lot of commotion in the country. And similarly, a lot of Kenyans have expressed that if you are if you're going to impeach the deputy president, then impeach the president too, popularly known as Kufa Ndareva Kufa Makanga. And therefore, I believe uh, quite a number of members of parliament also who are displeased with these moves and who have enough grounds to impeach the president are also going to move a motion to impeach the president. I'm aware also uh, the speaker made statements uh, in relation to the impeachment of the deputy the president in, in uh, Machakos, whereby as an arbiter, as a referee, you cannot determine which team is winning even before the game uh, begins. And therefore, that also calls for action uh, so that we all act within the Constitution and that we, 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 we follow the law, we abide the rule of law so that the country can be managed better. So any member of the National Assembly willing to also impeach the President, they are free to do so. I want to assure Kenyans, I have heard about the petition, there are no grounds, absolutely, to impeach the Deputy President. It's a political uh, motion, and I believe also an impeachment against President Ruto can also be a, a political motion. Ordinarily, that's how politics works, when Kenyans are not happy with one thing or another. Right now, Kenyans are very unhappy with the abductions, and there is a need for there to be a national conversation on the same. Kenyans have to be safe in this country. The President has to disclose who are these abductors, uh, where do they take people, how many people have been killed by their doctors now that he promised very well that he will never mistreat his deputy and also promised that there are, there are not going to be bodies at the Rivayala. We found bodies at the quarry who were associated with the demonstrations. So, finally, I think, so finally, in the event, let us know everyone is expecting that. We'll go on to, di to discuss the conduct of, of the president and those willing to impeach the president will still go on. Perhaps. With regards to DP Gachagua. In relation to DP Gachagua, if, if they withdraw the motion, that is upon them. We still are saying there are no grounds with DP Gachagua, and we are saying there are many, many grounds 
to impeach the president. Even as the numbers of the National Assembly so far with the 300 people signed the impeachment motion, maybe if you have privileged information on how many senators would will to support or not support the motion, if at all it sends to the National Assembly. You know, once a motion leaves National Assembly in whatever state as it goes to the Senate, if the Senate doesn't approve it, then it collapses. Uh, so Senate is uh, much more mature and uh, more reasonable. And I'm sure they will look at the merits of that motion. If it doesn't fit, uh, they will not allow it. So in terms of numbers? You won't know the numbers. Even uh, that idea of saying uh, two, three, over 300 MPs have signed the motion. I largely believe it is a lie. I was in the National Assembly. It is very difficult to get two thirds in the National Assembly. We attempted many times, all parties combined, uh, in an effort to amend the Constitution by the provisions of the National Assembly. Uh, a motion which was moved by the, a bill which was moved by the Honorable Kaluma. It was very popular, but it failed. So it is very difficult to get to, uh, to get to that uh, in the House. <laughs> Kwa na hindi uh, katiba ka Kenya nga kuoti kula kwezi ito na upaluku uh, yuluwa sirikali ya President Ruto na hake mwene na muna muna kwa asia kana andwa lama na wa iwe ni polisi andwa lama abudati iwe ni polisi andwa onde na ala au President nuto ni wawonga miya security andi ni walita investi na ni walita lesi ya Kenya meba na nuto wa mwene ni waiti andwa hita atuwa wa ribayala ingi ni waiti andaka adhi nyande piti wake na ni waiti eh, owa mwene kana kwa hiyo ndo wangi maka tumeka na emu thembosu na polisi ni tumeka katika siyasa hino mbaka tuwa lezi ya kuiki wata onandando mainai ribayara nita amethi ya kwa kware na hangi ingi manowa iwe kundu na kundu amama taa isa uthiku ono mundi na hangi mwono mande na mama anda na mbaka polisi ndaya lezi nuka tipa kiasia wabinao kwa wani polisi wale tautua wako tine masa hame ongole na ana matema madhili nike tena ando meka maite kana makuwe toni polisi na maka mina Bewa mbeza nami yungwe tatu, matesi weba mani. Nenda kwa siya, mwose, nizu ya kashawa kwa diku ipate kana, haiki tumio na kimocha kimia wa, kitu wa nao tumio na kashawa kwa imbichi wa, na anda, pala mendeka mwimbichi kisiasa, koti yika mtuunga.